chair of the Democratic National Committee. I want to take you just a little bit off topic at the beginning uh, because I want to ask you about this interim deal with Iran that the U.S. and other nations have been pushing. So far, it hasn't come together. But you have heard uh, some of the criticism, particularly from Israel, but there are other problems with the Saudis, et cetera, looking at this. How comfortable are you with what you've heard about what the U.S. and others are seeking? Well, I think any time that you are actually at the diplomatic table negotiating on a question that <laughs> just a, a year or so ago would have been unfathomable, the idea that we could actually get Iran to back off its pursuit of nuclear weapons, uh, it, it, number one, it demonstrates that the sanctions that we've imposed thus far have been extremely painful and effective and that President Obama's emphasis on trying to do all that we can to make sure that Iran cannot attain those nuclear weapons is, uh, is working uh, and we're going in the right direction. But of course, uh, any deal has to be one that makes sense and has to be one that makes sense for the United States security interests and also the interests of our allies uh, okay. in the region. All right. Let me, let me turn you uh, back to the topic du jour, and that is the elections uh, that we had last week. I want to put up a, an exit poll. Uh, from the Virginia elections where the Democrat Terry McAuliffe won. Uh, the question was, what's your opinion of Obamacare? 46% uh, of Virginia voters supported it. 53% opposed it. I want to add on to that a meeting at the White House Wednesday with a collection of 15 Senate Democrats, most of whom are up for re-election, who rang the alarm bell at the White House and said, do something, this is hurting us. Is there a fix that the president could put in place now that would ease the concerns of both those uh, voters in Virginia and those senators having to run for re-election? Well, Candy, let's take a look at what the election outcome in Virginia means. Uh, Terry McAuliffe won Virginia, uh, and he won it with the same percentage, just about, that, uh, that President Obama won Virginia just a year ago. And what Election Day uh, this past Tuesday in Virginia, a very, competitive a very competitive state, showed you is that when the voters are presented with a candidate who focuses on creating jobs and investing in education and working together versus a candidate who doubled down on sh the politics of shutdown, who embraced Tea Party extremism, who was a leader in the war on women, uh, particularly on women's health, they overwhelmingly chose... Terry McAuliffe, uh, the Democratic candidate, and elected him. And they that did, is but what we're going to be looking at. Right. Reading it. Just one sec. They're going to be doing. They're going to be having the same choices all across the country with Tea Party governors that were elected in 2010, having to run on similar records against candidates who are going to give them a similar choice. But did, when it comes to Obamacare specifically, you know, Obamacare did not have uh, anything to do with Tuesday's outcome. Uh, you have. You don't think it made, made the election very, closer? You don't, I mean, because... No, I, I, I really, I really and, don't. Because and so if you look at the, the results a year ago and the results are now, they were about the same. Right. If you look at 2014, if you look at this through the prism of 2014, you don't think that Obamacare will weigh heavily on Democratic elections? I, I think Obamacare, because um, they, Americans have been feeling the benefits since 2010, where young adults can stay on their parents' insurance until they're 26, where in, on January 1st, if you have a pre-existing condition, like I do, as you know, as a breast cancer survivor, the peace of mind that uh, the, the, those Americans are going to have, knowing that they can never be dropped or denied coverage for that pre-existing condition, the preventative care that's available without a copay or a deductible, those are benefits that Americans have already been feeling and will I I increasingly re feel How as many? Obamacare is fully implemented. So I think actually, Candy, that Democratic candidates will be able to run uh, on Obamacare as an advantage leading into the 2014 election. How, how many Floridians have lost their health care insurance in the private market? The situation that Floridians or any, uh, any person who's gotten a transition letter from their insurance company are in is that they will have an opportunity to shop on the exchange and compare they, plans. Right. And, but, and uh, when they have, and you can, the, the, the CEO of Florida Blue was, uh, was on a Sunday show just a, just a week or so ago talking about how they, were, they are offering a replacement plan for the plans that they're transitioning. And in most cases, the plan that, that the person is going to benefit from is actually lower cost and has more benefits. Yeah. So, you know, this, it, it is a real 
significant distortion to say that uh, that people are be that hundreds of thousands of people are being canceled. What's actually happening is that they are very likely going to get a better plan for less money. Nonetheless, uh, one hundred thousand people. Ha I mean, hundreds of thousands of people have had their insurance canceled. Some of them. Uh, certainly not all of them, but some of them expressed an interest in keeping it. Would you support, should the president support any kind of move, and there are those in Congress, um, and some of them are Democrats who say, yes, people who have insurance they want to keep in the private market should be allowed to keep it. And that's not just Republicans pushing that. Well, and the president himself said that uh, the, the, to the extent that his commitment and our commitment that if you liked your plan, you could keep it, uh, is not possible for, you know, which is actually about less than 5% of the folks in the individual market, then we are going to work towards making sure they can do that. What we're not going to do is we're not going to allow the Republicans uh, embracing the idea that we should stop people from being able to get access to quality affordable health care. We're not going to let pl new plans be sold like the Upton bill would do to allow insurance companies to drop them or deny them coverage for pre-existing conditions, to charge women double just because we're women and you know to suggest that we have to do that and create two separate tracks that are going to allow people to be discriminated against again and not have good quality health care that's unacceptable and right. it's unacceptable to americans we're not going backwards and in just a yes or no because i i've got to run you believe that democrats will win running on obamacare in twenty fourteen i think because americans reject the tea party extremism they want us to focus on creating jobs and working together and because not they will exactly feel a, yeah. the benefits of Obamacare, okay. yes. All right.